Hello everyone, welcome back to the next lecture in the computer network series and today we will see the selective repeat ARQ. Let's start the session with the outcomes. In today's session, we have only one outcome. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to understand the working of selective repeat ARQ. Let's see the working principles of selective repeat ARQ theoretically and we know very well that this go back in ARQ and selective repeat ARQ are the sliding window protocols. And in today's session, we are mainly focusing on the selective repeat ARQ. Let's see the theoretical aspects of selective repeat ARQ. In selective repeat ARQ, only the erroneous or lost frames are retransmitted, while correct frames or good frames are received and buffered. In go back in ARQ, either the frame is lost or the acknowledgement is lost. All the frames in the current window are retransmitted, whereas in selective repeat, only the lost frame or the frame that has encountered errors will be retransmitted. So, the receiver will have to keep track of sequence numbers and it buffers the frames in the memory and sends negative acknowledgement for only frames which is missing or damaged. So, receiver will be keeping track of all the frames that are received using sequence numbers. If any sequence number is missing, it will send either a negative acknowledgement or it won't send any acknowledgement so that that will be an indication to the sender to retransmit only that frame. So here in selective repeat, the number of retransmissions will be obviously lesser than the go back in ARQ because in selective repeat or SRARQ, only lost or erroneous frames are retransmitted and sender will retransmit or send only the packets for which negative acknowledgement is received. Let's see it with an animation now. Suppose if we have a sender and we have a receiver. Let's say as usual there are 11 frames to be sent and the frames are numbered like 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 10. So there are 11 frames and these numbers are the sequence numbers. And we know the basic working of selective repeat ARQ. Let's see it now. Though we have a window size here and there is no significant role for the window size to play with selective repeat. Let's see it now. The sender is now going to send frame number 0 and the sliding window will be like this and it's going to send frame number 1, frame number 2 and frame number 3 and we know that there are 4 frames in the window, current window. And let's assume that frame number 0 is acknowledged and the sender will send the next frame in the buffer. The next frame in the buffer is frame number 4. The sender will send frame number 4 and the sliding window will move like this. Let's assume the receiver is now acknowledging for frame number 1 and sender will send the next frame. The available frame in the buffer is 5. So sender will transmit frame number 5 and sliding window will move like this. Let's assume frame number 2 is corrupted or frame number 2 is lost. So obviously the receiver will not send acknowledgement for frame number 2. Either the frame is lost or the acknowledgement will be lost. If it is go back in ARQ, what the receiver will do? It has already received frame number 4 and 5 but it discards all these frames and the sender will be retransmitting all the frames in the current window like 2, 3, 4 and 5 are repeated. In this case, the receiver might have acknowledged frame number 3 but that's not a problem. But the sender will not send frame number 4 and 5 again and it knows that frame number 2 is missing because the receiver would have sent a negative acknowledgement for frame number 2. So the sender will retransmit frame number 2 alone and as usual other frames are transmitted. Say in this example, so frame number 4 is now acknowledged, now the sender will be sending frame number 6 only and receiver will be acknowledging for some packets and sender will be sending the next frame. Now if you observe here, there is no significant role for this sliding window or this window size because the sender is going to retransmit the frames for which the negative acknowledgement is received or the acknowledgement is not received and that's the working of selective repeat. I hope now you understood how the selective repeat is differing from the go back in ARQ. In terms of number of retransmissions, selective repeat will be lesser than go back in ARQ. So selective repeat ARQ is somewhat efficient than go back in ARQ. I hope you guys understood the working of selective repeat ARQ and thank you for watching.